Texas. Top one, no score. Matt Williams, all-star, hitting 319. Fat bat, base knock. Tony Womack scores finally. D-back score run in the game started by Randy Johnson for the first time since June 20th. Bottom eight, Johnson facing Juan Gonzalez up two zip. A Juan, RBI leader in the AL last year. Wait for it. Eight shutout innings for Johnson. Eight Ks. He had 211 Ks at the break. Third most ever at the break. Bottom nine, Matt Manti walked three straight pinch hitters for only the second time in big league history. Mark McLemore kicking the Willie Bobo. The lifetime 317 hitter with the bases loaded to the right center gap. Clears the bases. Lee Stevens scores the game-winning run. Diamondbacks blow their 15th save of the year. Rangers win it 3-2. to two. So on one hand, Randy Johnson got five hits support. His former team breaks out their new ballpark, the $517 million Safeco Field with the retractable roof. First time there's been outdoor big league baseball in Seattle in 30 years. During BP Tuesday, Junior and John Mabry sent balls off the Hit It Here Cafe in right field. The Mariners' first opponent for the new ballpark, San Diego, some interleague love. Top nine, pods down, 2-1, nobody's on. Jose Mesa walks Ruben Rivera on a pitch way out of the strike zone. Maybe that's why Mesa has a 7.36 ERA. Next batter, John Vanderwall. He gets the free pass. Lou Pinella needs a hug. Next batter, Ed Giovanola. Mesa walks him to load the bases. Pinella's like, Jose, D don't, don't. Two batters later, Kivio Veras. Mesa walks Veras to drive in the tying run. Four walks by Mesa in the ninth. Mariners, 13 blown saves this year. Mesa gets the hook. Padres go ahead in a sack fly. Padres, two runs on no hits in the nine. Two out, two on. Yeah. Omedo signs on Rob Nan, and the sign says you got to have a membership card to get inside. Rich, I feel like I'm back in the 70s show. Three run game winning home run signs his fourth jack of the year. A's win it 11 to 9. Kenny Rogers, four and a third, eight hits, nine earned runs. Bottom 10, tied at six, man on second, which is good because with nobody on base, Mo Vaughn's hitting 234. With runners in scoring position, Hit Dog's got the J.U. Ice, the juice hitting 324. That's why he knocks in Randy Velarde. That's that little wheel he was talking about. Angels beat the Dodgers in 10 innings. They win it 7 6. Halos win for the fifth time in six games and stop the Dodgers' four game win. Second time for the fourth title one, Randall Simon at the plate, grounds to Chuck Knobloch, ranging. Nice throw by Knobloch. But Simon safe, and Andrew Jones comes all the way around from second to put the Braves on top 2-1. As for the play at first, well, does Tino's foot come off the bag? You make the call. Top of the fifth, same score, two men on for Brian Jordan. Jordan grants it to Scott Brocious, who boots it for his ninth error of the year. Walt Weiss makes it a 3-1 Braves lead. That's your score, top of the sixth. Chili Davis takes Tom Glavin to left center field. Andrew Jones makes that diving grab. Chili bumming. Braves loving as they win 6-2. to two. So Glavin wins the second matchup of reigning Cy Young winners in Major League history. Into the ninth with a three-run lead, but bottom nine, Mets up just 7-6, two outs, two on. Bubba Trammell already with the homer, getting his freak and his vibe on. Bloop single in the center. Fred McGriff scores a tying run. Trammell a thick three for four night. Benitez needs a hug. The injured John Franco, I can't help you, kid. We're tied at seven. Top 10, two outs, man on second. Roger Cedeno is bringing it. Randy Wynn cannot catch up to it. A ground rule double. Benny Agbayani scores the winning run. That's why Cedeno batting ninth is hitting 333. Mets win 8-7. With a similar fanfare, busting out the whooping stick on the fourth inning. On Mike Soraka, 29th of the year, makes it a 2-1 White Sox lead. That's your score in the bottom of the ninth. One out, two on. Willie McGee takes Bobby Howry up the middle. Craig Wilson steps on second for one throw to first. McGee's safe. Frank Thomas taking serious umbrage, got ejected. Nevertheless, we go to extras. 13th inning, Darren Bragg bunting with Rick Croucher on first. Greg Norton fields, fires, throws, hits the runner, and the ball's loose. Here's Croucher coming all the way around from first. Ray Durham's throw is not in time. The Cardinals win 3-2. Afterwards, Croucher said, I think every baseball player wants to be a hero one time. This is fun. Sammy Sosa. Deep to right center field and gone off of Bob Wells. Two-run shot. Sosa's major league leading 33rd home run. He snapped an 0-for-12 slump the inning before with a double and is now halfway to 66. First lineup card. And Tigers, how are up, we're up 2 nothing, top of the fourth with two on when Damien easily plates two more on this double down the line off of Shane Reynolds. Tigers go up 4 nothing, would go up 6 nothing in the bottom of the fifth. 
with two on Jeff Bagwell against Dave Malicki. Here's the setup. Here's the pitch. He got it. 29th home run of the season. An opposite field job cuts the lead in half. 6-3 ball game. It's 6-5, bottom of the seventh. Base is full of strolls for Derek Bell. Base hit. Up the middle off of Doug Brokale. Two more runs come in. Astros take the lead and tack on one more for good measure and win 8-6 and score eight unanswered to win in Durker's return. But for the game tied at three against Brett Saberhagen. Goes the other way. Deepest part of the ballpark, and it is gone. Barely. 20th of the year for Rowan. Phillies up 5-3. Boston had some chances. Bases loaded for Jason Veritek, bottom of the eighth. Sox down 5-3. Rico Bronia somehow comes up with it. Bobbles to first in time. Two batters later, Wayne Gomes, Damon Buford, ring him up, sit him down. Bottom nine, 5-4 fills. No more Garcia par up. The tying runs on third. Grounds to Rowan. Jose Offman gets caught in a run down. A developing dicey situation. Tagged out. Garcia Parra, one for five in the game. He left four runners on base. And the Phillies hang on to win by the final score of 5-4. So Robert Person, the converted reliever, went six innings, struck Stain, doing some things we didn't think she could do. Jorge Posada. Ah. I leg kick like El Duque. Fourth inning, Scott Brocious against Greg Maddox. Bases loaded. Two-run single. Yanks up by the score of 4-3. Maddox gave up five earned runs in three and a third. His shortest stint since September of 1996. Fifth inning, it's Ryan Klesko against El Duque. A man on Braves down one. And Klesko drills his second home run of the game. One of four homers off El Duque. Braves up 6-5. Andrew Jones loves playing in Yankee Stadium. Member of 1996 World Series. 19 years old, a couple of home Homers. Tonight, a little bit of everything against Posada, the brilliant defensive play. Then against El Duque, off into the New York night. Later in the ball game, getting a great jump to Rob Scott Brocious, or that Tino Martinez drive. Sixth inning, Derek Jeter, 15th of the year, his 42nd multi-hit game of the year for Jeter. That leads the majors. 6-6 six, six at this point. Ninth inning, it's Andrew Jones against Rivera. 7-7 seven, seven game. Looky here. Andrew Jones has left the building. A three-run home run. His second of the game. And it leads the Braves over the Yanks by the final score of 10-7. So two homers for Jones, two also for Klesko. Mariano Rivera blew a save, Dave, for the bottom five solo home run. 219th home run for Baines as a DH, tying Don Baylor for the all-time home run mark as a DH. Joe's up 5-1. How about Mike Mussina, the all-star, getting it done. Jose Vidro, ring him up, sit him down. Next man up, Vladimir Guerrero. And Guerrero's going to ground into the 6-4-3 double play as the Orioles go on to win by the score of 9-4. Baines went 4 for 5. He now has 1,556 hits as a DH, moving past Hal McRae. Sean Green is at second base, nobody out, and they decide to run with Tony Fernandez up there with no outs. Kind of a cardinal sin. Left-handed batter, nobody out. You can't make the first out at third base. And then in the sixth inning with two outs, Homer Bush batting. Jose Cruz Jr. decides to try to go around to third base. Mark Kotze makes him pay, so they made the first out and third out at third base. Two base running mistakes. Toronto's Alex Gonzalez is hurt, but this is Florida's Alex Gonzalez. A double in the left field, scoring Luis Castillo. Breaks a 2-2 tie. Marlins go on and win by the score of 4-2. So overall, the Marlins now 30-15 and 15 in interleague play. The best top of the third, 1-0 Houston. Davey Cruz deep to left. Everett's replacement, Matt Mieske. Oh, look what I found. Bottom eight tied at one. Runners on the corners. Derek Bell against Doug Brocale. Ring him up and sit him down. We're still tied at one. Bottom nine, still tied at one. Runner on second for Craig Biggio. Base hit. Gabe Kapler is fielding. Glenn Barker is running. Developing situation, and Barker's got the winning run as the Astros win it two to one. So coupled with the Reds' loss, Houston is now in first place by a game over the Reds. First year with Pittsburgh. Take that. Giles against Dave Burba, 19th of the year. And at this point, it's 4-0 in favor of Pittsburgh. Bottom four, Giles up again to Roberto Alomar. Down to the right side, Alomar. Fourth error of the year for Alomar. Two runs come in to score on that play. And Pittsburgh, at this point, is up by the score of 7-0. Well, Doc Gooden pitching out of the bullpen right now. It looks like Mark Langston is going to be the fifth starter the next time around. First batter he faces, wish he didn't, Ed Sprague smokes one to left field. His 17th home of the year, 10-zip.
Pirates. And 11 of 3 is the final. The Pirates with three homers. Now Yesterday, and looky here, looky here in the bottom of the first. Three run home run, number 30 on the year. We're tied at three, bottom seven. Two on, no outs. McGuire again. McGuire again. Second of the game, 31st of the year. Cards cut the lead to 8 7. Cards down 9 7, bottom nine. McGuire's a tying run. Not this time. Bob Howry fields it, throws him out at first. And despite McGuire's two homers, the Cards lose 9-8. McGuire matches a career high with six RBIs. He also becomes the 10th player in Major League history to have 10 seasons with at least 30 homers. One, twins up 2-1. Sammy Sosa. McGuire went deep twice today and once yesterday. Sosa went deep once yesterday, once today. He also went four for five. That's his 34th of the year. Ron Coomer, his 12th of the season, in the top of the ninth, ties the game at eight. Bottom nine, tied at 10, bases loaded, no outs. Henry Rodriguez, oh, Henry. Two for five in the game, hitting 341. No one can catch up with that one. Cubs score three in the ninth to win it, 11 to 10. The sixth blown save from Mike Frombley in 19 chances. After his four for five today, so stadium is Brewers return to action after the construction accident yesterday at Miller Park postponed yesterday's game, so they played two today. Steve Woodard strikes out Johnny Damon, and then he gets Damon again at the top of the sixth as Milwaukee wins it by the score of two to nothing. Woodard pitched eight innings to win his seventh straight decision, and again, the game supposed to take place last night postponed until today because of that construction accident in Miller Park, the new stadium going up next to the county stadium. Three people died yesterday in that accident. Carlos Beltran, Deshaun Berry at first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One run comes in, and then Johnny Damon's coming in. He scores, and the Royals would go on to win by the score of 12-10. Jermaine back at it Friday. Top of the 7th, 7-6 Rangers. Luis Gonzalez against rookie all-star Jeff Zimmerman. Gonzalez, the single to left. Kelly Stinnett, you can score. Diamondbacks come back with five runs in the 7th to tie the game at 7. Top of the ninth, 8-7 Texas. Man on second, two out for Matt Williams. Bingle up the middle off John Wetland. Tony Womack scores, ties the game at 8. Bottom nine. Tied at eight still. Bases juiced for Todd Zeal. Facing Dan Plesak, and Zeal gets a game-winning RBI just for standing still. Plesak walks home the winning run as the bullpen lets it slip away. For the second straight night, the Rangers beat the D-backs on the final pitch of the game. Hada on first. Russ Ortiz against Jason Giambi. And Giambi knows that force equals mass times acceleration. Twelfth of the year. Two-run shot. Three to one A's. They win by a final of four two. The Giants now four pods. One on, two out. Dan Wilson driving a Sterling Hitchcock offering deep to right center. Ruben Rivera, I think I glove you. The threat is over. Bottom eight. Mariners within one. Tying run at second. Two down. Trevor Hoffman telling Jay Buhner to shush. End of the inning. The Padres go on to win by a final of two to one. Hitchcock goes seven shutout innings. Wins a Ishmael Valdez helping his own cause as he feels the liner off Matt Walbeck and gets the out at first. <laughs> Trainers come out and take a look at Valdez's right hand and they say, yep, it's still a right hand. Later in the fifth, three to one L.A. Valdez doing it again. Feels the tough ground ball from Darren Erstad and makes the throw to first. Valdez would leave the game with contusion in his right palm and the Dodgers. The rug and that's Brian McCray at the plate. Off Witt's glove. Kevin Stocker makes a diving grab in the backhand to get Piazza at second. Bottom of the eighth, middle on first and second. Stocker batting. Rounds the second. And got Alfonso in love with his glove. Gets the flip back. And the Mets swim. Mike Piazza can't stop the madness at the...